So I just hit 1,000 subscribers and I want to thank you by sharing something very valuable that I have learned the way. And I actually just walked out of the Harvard bookstore and I bought two books. And I wasn't planning on stopping by and buying two books, but I did. And this made me think of a really cool video idea or, or something to talk to you about in my video, which is the concept of volume and, and fat-tailed events and probability theory. Now, if you follow my channel, you'll know that I've like done internships at NASA. I've done I've published like more than 10 research papers. I have like seven internships. I've been to 26 countries. Um, I have a lot of like high numbers. Like I'm kind of obsessed with large numbers and there's a very good reason for that. And it's exactly why I've read like, I don't know, 100 plus books or, or I, I do things in very large volume, but I don't just do anything in very large volume. The things that I do in very large volume are things that have really, really high upside if they go right. However, 99% of the time they go, they go wrong or they're just kind of useless. For example, you could read 100 books and 99 of them probably may not add much to your life, but one of them could give you one idea that could turn your life upside down. Or likewise, you could, I don't know, go travel to like 26 countries and out of 25 trips, you may not really get anything substantial, but in one trip, you could like meet someone that, I don't know, you could marry or start a business with or, or, or something could really happen. Um, and, and, and basically all I'm doing in life, the lesson I really figured, figured out early on is like a big part of life is a game of probability. And it's, a, it's kind of a game of gambling where you just have to take many chances, a very large of chances and expect that most of them fail. And when they do fail, that's okay. You pivot, you move on to the next thing. In fact, this is exactly the reason why Amazon became very successful in business because Jeff Bezos talks about this uh, in his letters to shareholders. So if you read Jeff Bezos' letter shareholders from as early as like the late 90s, he will tell you about the idea of big winners pay for many losers and how like in business where like you can gamble and you can like bet on an idea and there's a big chance it may not work out but once in a while there will come an idea that will work out and that will make up for all your losses. And that alone is basically gonna turn your life upside down. So in, in my channel, you'll probably see sometimes in the short term or when you have a very concrete goal, I will, I will tell you, go ahead and make a plan. However, I think life is a lot more fun if you live it from the perspective of you're going on a journey or you're part of like a, you're, you're a character in a video game. And the more things you say yes to, the more opportunities you say yes to, you're essentially stacking a bunch of lottery tickets. And once in a while, you'll get one ticket that will change your life and, and turn it upside down. My and that's basically been the case for me because a lot of times, a lot of things I ended up doing, I didn't really plan for, or I didn't really um, think about deeply. I would just kind of run into the right people at the right time and things would happen. And, and, and if you were to come and ask me, uh, 10 years ago, what I would be doing now or whether I would have a PhD or whether I would even have a YouTube channel or I'm just like walking randomly in the streets of Boston and shooting a video, um, I would probably say like, hell no, that was not part of my plan. But what happened is I ended up saying yes to a very large number of things that in combination led me to be making this video over here. So lesson from here, again, if you want, I'm not saying this is what everyone should do, but if you want the kind of results I have. And, and the results I have really is just kind of living life from a journey perspective where I get to kind of build cool things and, and work at cool companies and meet amazing people. And there's no real like end goal. It's just kind of a very big focus on the journey and on the process and on the experience itself. It's, it's like a video game because in a video game, the goal of playing the video game is to be entertained and is to um, be stimulated, but there is usually some end goal, right? Video games would be really fun if there were no goals. So goals are important um, and goals are important, but the most important thing is that you're enjoying the journey. And I've been enjoying this YouTube journey quite a lot. I mean, 1,000 subscribers, man, that's, that's a lot of people. That's 1,000 people. So yeah, I'm um, really glad you like my videos and I'll keep posting them. Peace, love.